Hi guys and welcome along to today's video. Now I did a video on radiator valves which way to turn them the other day and lots of you eagle-eyed subscribers <laughs> spotted that one of the radiators was uh, a little bit rusty and to that end I got a few questions in about what should I do about rusty radiators well let's take a look back at that one again shall we we'll go to the rusty radiator right now here then is our rusty radiator as you can see it's it's pretty bad this normally happens most of the time on Stelred type radiators because they are very thin metal now a mark was done here when we had it within a year we was, that was just surface rust very tiny surface that we could get off so we did patch this bit in with paint rubbed it down and paint but once it gets to the stage you can see there do not touch it, do not try to rub it with anything, uh, do not try to repair it with anything, it will not work. But once you've touched it and that rust comes away, you're more than likely going to get a leak. Now, I know this rat is pretty bad and I'm just waiting for the first sign of a drip on the floor at any time. I've got the radiator all measured up, ready to order a new one as and when and uh, get it done. But at the moment it's holding fire. Now normally, Funny thing, it always seems to be bathrooms mainly that this happens to, but not always. But um, they tend to kind of rust from the outside and the inside. So you may just think, oh, I can just cover that up and put some paint on it or whatever. Um, but just please don't touch them whatsoever if you see rust like that. Because I've touched some in the past and put my finger on it. And as soon as I pulled it away, it started to drip and leak. And nothing in this world can seal them and stop them. As the radiator expands, contracts with the heat, and any stuff that you put on there doesn't seem to be able to do the same thing. So it may last a week or two, maybe, or just a couple of hours, but will eventually pop off. So that's just a little recommendation to do with rusty radiators. There you have it, just a little quick one over the radiators there that are a little bit rusty and I'm sure that you probably find that you've got a little bit here and there on some radiators but please do not do not whatever you do touch them <laughs> leave them well alone until they start written really bad then think about renewing them before they actually leak it's probably the best bet All right okay that's about it though, just a little one and an update on rusty radiators. Okay, all my stuff, you know where to go, Derek and 33. Thanks for watching guys, bye bye.